What's up YouTube, this is Ray here, so um, I've got an old Canon 5D Mark II which I have for a long time, um, looking to sell it now so I've used it, it's pretty battered as you can see, uh, and everyone was asking what sort of shutter count and I couldn't find out, I couldn't find out for the love of love or money and I've looked everywhere online, uh, there's so many tools, so many videos. Um, there are a few tools that you can probably use on Windows, but there's not many free tools available for Mac. Um, there is a, there is a ver there is a shutter count app on the App Store, which is about eight dollars seven ninety nine or something like that, which I wasn't prepared to pay. Just I just wanted to check it one off and see what sort of uh, mileage this camera has had over the years. Um, so after searching for a good few hours, I found this tool. So I'm just I've just made a small video, so it might help you. And if it does, please like and share. And if you have any questions, put it on the comment box. All the best. So I have included the link to download this very small zip file from this public Google Drive. So once you've located that, download it. While it's downloading, just wait. There you go. And now locate it on the Finder. Rather than opening it via the app, just locate it from there and then control click and once after you unzip it. Control click, then open. So the reason for doing opening it this way sometimes if you if you if you double click it straight away. It may not open because you might have security settings on your Mac that will not allow for an app to open that's downloaded from an unverified source. So now it's all downloaded. Here you go, you can see the screen, the app's opened. So now I'm going to get the camera all connected. Uh, the camera needs to be connected to the computer and with uh, once the cable is connected correctly onto the camera. Make sure the connection is proper and then turn on the camera. Yep. Once the camera is turned on, come back to the screen and then click on the refresh button. Last for some verification, click yes. There you go. So you downloaded all the information from the camera. So I've got the screen grab of the app. There you go basically shows all the information that you need. So pretty straightforward and very simple but it's very very difficult to find. Here here I thought I will include it and I will make a video so it can help others who are in the same position. Thank you.